Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you find this video useful. So, we're closing in towards the end of May already. I think it's May 22nd, I believe. So, uh, we're going to go back, go down, and take a look at uh, some splits that we did here a while ago. Actually, one major split, that one hive that's on the left there. Uh, we took that one hive and we split it into five. So, the original plus those four five frame five frame nukes that are there inside the cage. Those uh, all came out of that one hive. And uh, uh, we're gonna go down and take a look, see how the new queens are doing, and uh, make sure that we have a good laying pattern, make sure they accepted all the queens, and then we'll go from there. So uh, for anyone who's wondering what all those blue things are, those blue tubes, those are my uh, grow tubes for my grapevines. So I've got a couple of different type of grapes there. Uh, Frontenac Gris is on the far side. And the one closest is Itasca. So there are a couple of uh, uh, white wine grapes that we're experimenting with this year. The Itasca ones are already growing. They've been in the ground oh, a little over two weeks now, I think. And uh, the Itasca ones are already uh, uh, leafing out. All the buds are opening up. Not all of them, but uh, enough of the buds are opening up so that uh, we're quite certain that we're gonna get 100% success on those ones. The Frontenac, uh, gray ones uh, they look like they're budding but uh, the buds are swelling but I'm kind of nervous about it so um, it's kind of kind of unusual because uh, the Itasca is if you look at the genealogy of it they're the daughters of Frontenac Gris uh, or they came out of those so I'm not sure exactly what's going on there and why they're taking so much longer but we're going to uh, go ahead and keep that experiment going anyways Ho hopefully they'll come through here in the next couple of weeks but anyways let's get at let's get back to the bees and uh, take a look at those and then later on I got to clean up all the spare parts and everything in there I, I haven't got that cleaned up yet but uh, uh, we'll take a look we'll we'll uh, see how we're doing all right let's take a look and see what we got here hoping to see some eggs and some larvae these queens have been released for uh, a little over a week now. Chowing down the pollen. Okay. Yeah, it's time to draw the comb out on that one. That's a good sign. The side's pretty much all drawn. This was a brand new one here. Early of the spring, I just keep checkerboarding. The smoker doesn't want to stay good today. And we've got some cat root there. Looking for some other signs. Yeah, and we've got some larvae there. So this queen has been in here laying. In fact, there she is right there. There's the queen right there. See her walking around with the, got the blue dot on her. So she is laying. That's a good sign. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we got some brood over here. Not really as uh, filled out as I'd like. This side's okay. So, uh, got some drone cells. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check aboard this brood and my last frame over here these are five frame nukes uh, my last frame is just full of uh, honey and uh, food so we'll leave that over there Let's see if we can get this going the way we want oops there we go what i'll do is i'll take the full drone comb put it out at the edge just a little bit of food in the exit that's brood There's that one, looking pretty good. Let's put the strip back in. Happy bar strip. And my pollen. This next one is actually the original queen that I, that, that I kept from the split. I took one hive and split it into five. And that just added four queens. So, 
This one should, it was a rock star before I split, split it. So let's see what it's doing now. Again, pollen, they're chewing down on it. It's awful dry up here in central Maine right now. It's uh, mid 80s today. And again, they're pulling the, now, I don't think this is actually a new foundation this year. It's all dark, so I think it's one from last year. So let's eat that. There's nothing in that one, it's just strong comb. We may have to get some more food here. And we got a bunch of nectar on this side. A little bit of cat brood over here. Once that bee's in there, just cleaning everything out. You can see them with their butts sticking out. Nothing here. Awful. Going through an awful dearth right now, which is kind of unusual for this time of year. Okay, so we've got cat brood here. This one is an unmarked queen, so I don't see her on this side. But I got a lot of cat brood, and I got a bunch of larvae and stuff in there too, so I'm okay with this one. And same thing on this side. And I don't see the queen here either. I'm not really taking too deep of a look. People, we got drones out now. That's a good sign. this in here real quick. Nice and even. And a bunch of pollen and like a little bit of nectar on this one. So we have actually slowed down just a smidgen here in the yard. And I think a lot of that's got to do with the weather because it's, the weather has been really, really hot. And we got dandelions and a few other things out, but it's still not anything great as far as the honey flow goes. We got a little bit of food on this end, a little bit of pollen and food on that end. Nothing, nothing too easy to tackle. I got another one underneath these here, but I don't think anything's in it yet. Yeah, there's a little bit down there, but nothing major. Looks like they're drawing out comb down there. It's a good sign. All right, so there's two. We got, they're looking okay. Oops, let's put this back together. I always forget to put this stuff back together. Close this up. Okay, right, so there's the first two. Let's go ahead and change the camera around. And what I'm going to do is do it like that. I'll do some editing here to make this pretty. Or prettier, I should say. Just take this one off. Oops. Well, I really did not expect them to be up here on this top one because that was more or less just a feeder. And that's empty. I got to. This one is looking really good. See all kinds of stuff there. Let me make sure the camera's lined up. Yep. Okay, so. Okay, so they're, they're walking all over this empty one. I'm not really doing anything with it yet. Jump just now. And cleaning up this one really, really good. <laughs> Pulling out the, the uh, foundation on this end. That's good. Drawing that comb out. And this one should be another marked queen. And again, there she is, the queen right there. And we've got a bunch of cat brood and some other stages of development going around it and a bunch of food packed in. I would rather have seen that food on the distant end of the hives instead of right in the middle, but we've got Okay, a few on this end. 
They get ready to seal up. Let me pull this back up. Make sure you guys actually saw that queen. Yeah, so you see that queen right there. And she just went through the hole to the other side. Okay. And I'm so careful not to smidge it. Yeah, this one here is just packed right full of recently laid in development. Lots of larvae. Packed right full. And we got the same thing on this end. This one's going to be good as well. So let me go ahead. I've seen all I need to see. Again, what I'm going to do is just to try to... It's, it's hot enough now so that I can start splitting that brood up a little bit uh, without worrying about it chilling at night. So I'm going to start checkerboarding that. And there we go. And I'll have to get three more for this top. This is going to be kind of a different one. So there we go. There's that one. This top, like it. I do it every time. Every time. Stuff on, throw that down there, and put that towards the brood as best we can. And I'll get three more frames to fill this one up. Okay, so that brings us down. Whoops, one more thing here. That brings us down to our last one, which I'll have to hold up because I can't get this thing positioned right. But again, it should be a marked queen. Let me see what we got. And it's looking good. Looking pretty good as I look down in here. You see the, the bees are across all five. And you can see where they've been drawing stuff out. So let me let me see what we got here. Should take a piece of pollen from that other one. Let's see. And we have just Tons and tons of food that they brought in. Right here, just a bunch of food. Keep them going. And freshly pulled comb. That's a good sign. It looks like we're gonna have the same thing here where we get a couple of frames of brood and development. Yeah, this one's looking really, really good. And there's the queen right there. So, you can see the queen right there. Marked with blue. You can see all this brood around it. We got a queen cup up here, but nothing's in it. So we're, we're okay with that. We'll just keep watching them. Same thing on this end. Bunch of cat brood. So we'll... What I want to do is check to make sure... What's, yeah, and we got... Same thing on this end. We got cat brood on one side so we're gonna go ahead and check aboard that and we'll push this one over here and make sure we're not pinching that queen they're off to a pretty good start ordered these uh, queens from better be uh, came really really good packaging queens look really really healthy uh, tons of attendance with them so I was pretty happy so you, you never really sure when you order bees on, online, oops, there we go. You know how things are going to look when you get them. Because I mean, some of it's out of their control too. I mean, once the bees leave their facility, you just don't know. Get in there. Seal this up. Now let's we'll go over and take a look at the others as well here. Yeah. So, okay, so we've got everything. Oops, everything that we need. So there we go. There's our our four, what's going to be uh, four or five frame nukes. We're going to push them together two at, two at a time and put a 12 frame honey super on top of them with a queen excluder. So um, we're going to see how this works where we've got basically two queens um, working in the same environment. So we'll see how it goes.